Okay, and welcome back to Sunday School. And today our lesson is uh, going to be a little bit different how I'm going to do it. Um, but first I have some questions for you. So, <clears throat> you know, people provide for us. So if, who, who brings us food at, or who um, grows the food that we get at the grocery store? This happens to be popcorn. Who do you think? That would be farmers, wouldn't it? Farmers grow food. Um, and so they provide food for us. So if we wanted a library book, who would provide the library books for us? Probably the librarian, wouldn't they? Yeah. And, well, when you go to the mailbox, you know, who brings the mail? Who brings the mail? Who provides that? The mailman, right? Right. Or mail, mail person, I should say. So, well, today we're going to talk about God providing for us. So I um, think I'm going to read the story and then I'm going to show you some interesting things, okay? So today we're looking at Genesis chapter 22, 1 through 19. So it's called the sacrifice of Isaac. After these things, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham. And he said, here I am. He said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moab and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I shall tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son, Isaac. And he cut the wood for the burnt offering and... <clears throat> uh, um, offering and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place from afar. Then Abraham said to his, his young men, stay here with the donkey and I and the boy will go over there and worship and come, uh, come again to you. And Abraham took the wood and the burnt offering uh, uh, of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son and he took his hand the fire of the and knife so they went <clears throat> both of them together and Isaac said to his father Abraham my father and he said here I am my son he said behold the fire and the wood but where is the lamb for the burnt offering Abraham said God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So they both went together. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, here I am. He said, do not lay your hands on the boy or anything, do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son from me. And Abraham lifted his eyes and he looked up and behold, behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the name of that place, the Lord will provide. As it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord, it shall be, shall be provided. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, by myself, I have sworn, declared the Lord, because you have done this, and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you, and I will surely multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven and the sands that is on the seashore, and your offspring shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in your offspring shall be all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned to his young man, and they arose and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham lived in Beersheba. So that is the story. And today, I wanted to talk about that story. 
with some things that I found. So let's say this is Abraham, okay? And let's say this is Isaac. All right, so Abraham and Isaac, they went up to where God told them to go. And then they took some rocks with them. So back then, they didn't have churches like we have. So to praise God, they built an offering or uh, an altar. So they took some rocks. Let's see. If I can find another half one. Um, so they took some rocks and they built an altar. And then they took some wood. They brought wood with them, right? And they put them on here. And they did this. Yeah. Now, God was testing Abraham if he truly believed him. That's what this was all about. And Abraham really did believe God because he was going to do exactly what God told him. But God provided what he needed to. Now, I looked to see if I could find a ram. I couldn't. So I have a sheep here. So this is the sheep. So what they did back then, they did sacrifices. We don't do the sacrifices like this anymore because Jesus came to save us. And he is our sacrifice. So we don't do this anymore. So anyhow, they had this. And so that's what happened. God provided them the sacrifice. But I want to tell you something. I found these rocks at home. Um, and you know how we, how the Bible story talked about sands on the beach? Well, I found these in the sands of the beach up in the UP. And these rocks do something special. I don't know if you can see it from there or not. Can you see, see the glowing of the rocks there? If not, I'm going to show you here. I have rocks here. And when you go to the beach and you have the special light, it glows and it's really awesome and uh, when I'm on the beat you know as I was reading the story I was thinking about you know God will provide it's like when you're on the beach you're ever hopeful looking to see if you're gonna find a euprolite that's what they're called and you go along the beach and all the beach and then all of a sudden whoa it looks like something's glowing and you know it's and then you get so excited and you pick it up and um, then you, uh, we have collected a few of them. But that's how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be lights. We're supposed to be excited because God provided for us. God has called us to be his children. And we want to tell everybody about that. And so um, go ahead and be a light for God, okay? And tell everybody what Jesus has done. He has taken away your sins. And you one day, you're going to be with him in heaven. And he would like them to be there with you too. All right, um, so can you pray with me today? Hold your hands. Dear God, help us to trust and obey you, even when it's really, really hard to do. Forgive us when we don't, and thank you for providing what we need, especially Jesus, who saves us from our sins. Amen.